Welcome into this pick a card reading. We are looking at the karmic relationship for your person in a twin flame connection. So this reading is very specifically for people that identify with the twin flame journey. You're in a twin flame connection and your person is in a romantic karmic relationship. Okay. So we're looking at what's happening within that relationship. Now we can do that because it does affect you. So let's go ahead and look at the options. Um, I'm going to put an image up here so you can see them a bit closer. The first option is the Justice card from the um, Everyday Witch Tarot. You can see her with the scale, with the cat on the scale here. The second option is the Justice card from the Gilded Tarot. And the third option is the Justice card from the Light Seers Tarot. These are your three options. Take a moment to use your discernment, to choose your option, whatever you are most drawn to, choose that one. Uh, take a minute, pause the video if you need to, okay? And I'll go ahead and meet you in your option. There will be an extended for this reading that'll be available for you. And we will get letter um, initials and zodiac signs for each option. Okay, I'll see you in there. Welcome in to those of you who chose the Justice card from the Everyday Witch Tarot, option one, um, for this reading. What's going on in the karmic situation between your person and the karmic partner at this time? This is for twin flame relationships where your person is with a karmic partner and you either feel or know that. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some tarot from a couple of decks. We'll clarify. And then I have my new karmic partner cards that we're going to draw and get some messages so we understand fully what's happening here. I'm going to start um, with the cocaine tarot. And let's get three cards to talk about the situation between your person and the karmic partner right now. I usually do not do karmic readings, especially specifically... Um, about your person and the karmic. Um, but in a twin flame journey, it, everything affects everything. And once in a while, it's a good idea to just take a look so we understand and we can move past it, okay? So we've got the Hierophant. Let's look at the next one. What else can you tell me about your person and the karmic at this time? We've got the two of coins or two of pentacles. One more, please. And we've got the seven of swords, okay? going on between your person and the karmic. Ah, it's falling apart here. At the bottom of the deck energy is the three of cups. Okay. I'm going to use the housewives tarot to clarify. Uh, the Hierophant is the nine of cups. Clarify the two of coins. Two there. We've got the devil and we've got the ten of cups reversed and seven of swords clarify the seven of swords this is not looking good you guys um the fool yeah and okay i'm going to use the erotic tarot for one more clarifier for a couple of these feeling another deck so for the Hierophant. Clarify one more time with the erotic tarot here. What's going on? Clarify why the Hierophant is here. It's right there. The um, Page of Pentacles, Page of Roses. And then um, clarify the Seven of Swords one more time here. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay. 
Um, seven of roses and five of roses, which are pentacles. So five and seven of pentacles there. All right. What is happening between your person and the karmic at this time? Uh, the higher font tells me that they are in a higher level commitment with this person. So they're married to this person, they're engaged to this person, or have made very strong promises. Um, they did not intend to ever leave this person. However, that's clarified by the Nine of Cups and the Page of Roses. Um, the Nine of Cups can be a feeling of having it all. Hold on. There's this feeling that having it all went up in smoke here. I don't, I don't think it worked out the way that they wanted it to. The Nine of Cups can be about um, having it all, but there are nine cups here that are empty. So what they thought was going to be the happy family and happy life turned out to be kind of loveless is what I'm getting with nine empty cups. Every time they tried to fill up a cup, it just emptied back out. And with this particular page of pentacles here, there's this reckless feeling about the person that they went towards. I know this person was very immature in love. They're not... Um, stable and they're not grounded in love. They're not, um, this is someone that wanted to kind of play house and play wife or, or play husband. They didn't really want the higher level commitment for the reasons that your person wanted it. They didn't want a stable, loving home and family. They just wanted the illusion of it. I mean, they were in kind of an, they were both, I think, I think in kind of an illusion here and it kind of went up in smoke. This person that your person went towards here, who's in, who they're in some kind of commitment with, is really reckless. What I'm getting from this, they're just a pleasure seeker. They're not really into true commitment here. With the two of coins here, look, this person is very financially motivated. Okay, they've got a stack of money to their ear here. Um... I feel like the person they went towards uh, was wearing a mask and was very financially motivated. There's a lot of temptation here with this cake, chocolate cake being the devil. They looked really good to your person. Um, but then we have a bottle of Valium here. We've got, you know, the cigarettes here, cigarettes here. This person might have gotten your person started smoking, by the way. It's just, it's just a side message, but it's clear. Um... There's just a lot of unhealthiness in this unhealthiness and fakeness. And um, they could have gotten your person to use like prescription drugs as um, recreational too. That's another thing. Um, with the 10 of cups in reverse here, you know, all those cups um, have drained out. It's, it's similar to the nine of cups energy here, the nine empty cups. Um, this, this didn't turn out to be the loving family and home that they wanted. This is a mess. The seven of swords here. I mean, there was, they, someone was stabbed in the back here a bunch of times by someone that was very seductive, very tempting. There, I mean, there was like a tempting nature to this whole thing for your person, but man, they paid for it. With a fool here, I mean, this person that they went towards, look at look at how they acted, just randomly um, going through life, you know, jumping at everything with no regard to, to anything. I mean, their wallet's flown out of their purse, everything's flown out of their purse, big smile on their face, they're just throwing stuff as they go. They had no regard for this, your person's finances, they had no regard for anything, um, you know, your person bought them jewelry, they didn't care, your person bought them perfume. I mean, this person was very, very stuff oriented. They wanted the illusion. They really, really liked the illusion of, of this happy home, happy family. I have it all. I have all this. 
They like to show off everything that they have. That's another thing. They probably display everything very prominently that this person has purchased for them. And then they go and stab them in the back. And they really actually don't care about any of it. They just, it's, it's a joke. With the Seven of Roses and Five of Roses here, Seven of Pentacles and um, Five of Pentacles, uh, your, feel, your person feels just completely um, emotionally bereft here, abandoned, left out um, by this person. I mean, they, they really invested in this person. Your person invested a lot of money a lot of time they tried to create a stable environment and a stable home um, and this person just they blew it they just blew it they didn't really have any regard for your person the three of cups is the overall energy here again three empty cups there there was a third party situation here that was created and uh, everybody's cup got empty and you notice though two of them are completely empty one of them is still part full i feel like that's your cup you still have some love for this person but these other two people all the love has drained out of their situation okay um the one that this person is holding back here is empty so your person's cup for this other person is empty their cup for this your person is empty but there's this other cup on the side that's still part way full you still have some love here that your person has acted the fool in this karmic situation they really they really went towards something incredibly unhealthy here and i mean toxicity is at the center of the reading the devil all right i'm going to pull the karmic cards and we're going to see what the messages have to say here okay let me get this out of the way I plan to pull a bunch of them so I have um, these little handmade cards that I made that are messages from your person I'll get those some of those kind of at the end as a bonus um, and then this is the first time I have used these cards on video and they are my karmic cards and so they're all mixed up in here. There are hundreds of them, all with different messages on very specific situations. So I'm going to shake them up. I put them in a very large container so I could do that. They're too hard to shuffle. And that way we can just open that up and I can reach in. Karmic, your karmic, or your person's karmic. I only keep the DM for what they give me. Again, that's exactly what we just said. They're very money oriented. They're really into this stuff. This message is also the karmic speaking. I own the divine masculine. This karmic really believes that they own your person, which is delusional thinking. Nobody owns anyone. Also, the karmic speaking, I trade sex for things. Like I said, there's a lot of temptation here. This person probably looks um, very attractive. I, I saw like a lot of seductive clothing. This person um, seduces your person for stuff. They actually trade sex for stuff. It's their thing. And I, I think they've probably done it their whole life. Karmic speaking, again, there's different cards in here. Um, it's all about my next mark. So they actually view the divine masculine as the mark. And we're talking about the next mark. So they're not faithful to the divine masculine. They have other marks as well. There's not, it's not a faithful relationship. Karmic again speaking, I don't care who I hurt. This is someone with no conscience. Karmic again, I use the DM's family family to manipulate the DM. So this person has got either got in real good with the divine masculine's family and um, tells them things to manipulate how um, they interact with the divine masculine. Or maybe this karmic kind of keeps, I think for some it's that, for some the divine, uh, the karmic keeps the divine masculine's family away from him. 
and it's like um choose them or me kind of thing okay what else do we have okay this is a message from the dm actually so your divine masculine i couldn't control you so i was afraid of you this is a message actually from the divine masculine to you so the divine masculine actually feels like they can control this karmic in some way but they couldn't control you okay what do we have um this is also from the divine masculine to you i think you will reject me um, your divine masculine, when it comes to you, they were working from a fear base. Um, divine masculine again, I was silent so you wouldn't see how much I miss you. Karmic again. When I feel divine masculine leaving, I cause chaos. It's a misdirection tactic. If they keep the Divine Masculine so busy with chaos, they don't have time to leave them. Karmic again. I am demanding, so I appear high value. So this Karmic demands a lot of things, a lot of physical things. They want stuff. They want the jewelry. They want the perfume. They want the clothes, um, the certain house, the certain car, whatever it is. So they look more high value than they really feel inside. Let's get two more. Karmic again. I faked being pregnant to keep the divine masculine. At some point, this karmic actually faked a pregnancy, which is a pretty common theme, unfortunately. One more. Karmic again. I use dark magic on the divine masculine. This karmic could actually be using spell work of some sort. They could have used what they thought was a love potion. They could have um done some kind of binding spell i don't i don't know what it is but there is some kind of element here where this karmic is actually using spell work now whether it works or not i don't know but i feel like they've tried it all right that is the message that we have from um, the karmic and from the dm from our karmic box let's get a few messages from your Divine Masculine specifically. I'm learning about Twin Flames. So um, your Divine Masculine is actually learning about the concept of Twin Flames. They are not completely ignorant to that relationship. I am healing from addictions. I feel like there was some kind of an addiction uh, that they got into in this karmic situation. I feel like a different stack now. Message from the Divine Masculine. I am having financial problems. Well, yeah, because they're throwing all their money away in weird places here. Um, but I am tapping into spirit. Just great news. Um, I hear you in the 5D. So you might actually have a telepathic connection um, with your divine masculine. I'm so scared to lose you forever. I watch your social media. Yeah, that's true for a lot of them. Forever. This is how they feel with you. Um, if they're looking into twin flames, they are feeling that way get one or two more here messages from your divine masculine that one is sticking out i'm healing childhood wounds which is very good news one more two more okay i'm afraid i could hurt you more so they might be not talking to you or staying away right now because they do know that they've got toxicity to heal 
and I'm financially drained from a karmic situation. That's interesting that that would be the extra one because yes, clearly <laughs> that's what's happening here in this situation. Oh, almost forgot our letter initials and zodiacs. Let's get those for those of you who chose option one. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, so we've got E, we've got G, we've got V, we've got E again, so someone could have double E's in their name, either together or separately, T, H, and G, also double G's, someone could have um, double G's in there either together or separately. Um, TV could be a thing. Someone could work in the TV industry. They could be on TV, something like that. Could be having, you know, Netflix marathons. Maybe you're sick at home or something like that. Um, someone could be eating ghee. That could be a thing. I'm going to get a couple more. I feel like we're a little light on letters here. Okay, we've also got a P, Y, and N, pain. So someone's last name could actually be pain. Um, pay is something, maybe someone is waiting for a payday on something. Um, pang, too, is someone dieting and they're having hunger pangs or something like that? and you're eating ghee maybe someone's like on a health kick okay what what thing so um new york could be a place here um ag so someone could be in the agriculture industry or you like to garden um let's see age too there could be a, a significant age difference between you and your person Someone could be very skilled here. I'm saying apt. I'm not really big into these three letter words. Let's see. Or someone could be moving into a new apartment too. Eggs too. I'm saying egg. So I mean, someone could be on a diet where they're eating a lot of eggs. So that's just their main protein source. Maybe you're selling them. Like maybe you have chickens and you're selling them something. Okay, I will let you make of those letter initials what you will. Let's get some zodiacs. Um, let's do the, the uh, top three zodiacs. So your sun, moon, and rising for you or your person. And remember, not everything has to resonate. It's a collective reading. It's just to give you a little aha moment on something. Um, so Scorpio here. Pisces. Water signs. And Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sagittarius. All right. Okay, so for those of you who chose justice, uh, the first option here um, with the Everyday Witch Tarot, this has been your karmic um, twin flame reading for now. In the extended reading, I'm going to go and ask the Divine Masculine's feelings for the karmic currently. The Divine Masculine's current intentions toward the karmic and um, their most likely actions toward the karmic right now. Okay, so um, if this is where I leave you, thank you for being here. If not, I will see you in the extended. Feel free to choose a different option if you are pulled for more than one. Okay, take care. Welcome in to those of you who chose option two on this pick a card reading. What's going on in the karmic situation for your twin flame connection? What's going on between your person and the karmic partner? Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the cocaine tarot to start and then I'll clarify. We'll do um, zodiacs and letter initials at the end here and there will be an extended available if you resonated with this reading. All right, I'm also going to use my karmic cards for the first time. 
Um, I do have these message cards that I wrote a long time ago, uh, messages from um, your divine counterpart. Uh, as well, I have created karmic cards um, that are messages from the karmic, also some um, shadow messages from the divine masculine there as well. So we'll get into those. And as a bonus, we'll draw some of those messages from Divine Masculine as well. Um, so the cards we're getting here for your person's situation. we got the Death card. Uh, we got the Four of Wands card. we got the Hanged Man. And we've got the Empress. Okay going on in the karmic situation bottom of the deck energy we have the king of cups i'm going to clarify with the housewives tarot let's make sure i've got this right i do oh wait hold on there's a little stack of them that are upside down i want to fix it okay there we go <sighs> clarify death why is death here in your person's karmic connection this should be a romantic um, partnership I'm not really reading for other types of karmic connections though many exist uh, the nine of swords here with death Wow um, I didn't ask a question yet so four of wands four of wands clarify why is the four of wands here the four of wands why is that here why is the four of wands here why is the Four of Wands here? Your person and their karmic partner, what's happening? Why is the Four of Wands here? This is a really weird Four of Wands. Um, the Magician in Reverse. Why is the Hanged Man here? 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 Ah, okay. That's a whole stack. I'm going to take the top one, the Four of Cups. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? This is an interesting Empress as well. I've got three, but I'm going to take them all. Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck energy here is Eight of Wands. All right, what is happening between your person and the karmic partner right now? Well, the Death and the Nine of Swords. So there's an ending happening between your person and the karmic partner that is bringing a lot of headache, a lot of nightmare, a lot of stress, and a lot of worry. So there's actually an ending happening between your person and this person. The Four of Wands here, I want you to notice that the Four of Wands are held behind this feminine person's back. So the feminine energy in this connection, whatever it is between you or the karmic, or your person and the karmic, whoever holds the femi more feminine energy in that relationship was actually um, holding the relationship hostage they um they're holding this four of wands behind their back so they're like holding them away from your person the four of wands is that partner energy that's that celebration of union and so um there might have been like a marriage proposal on the table between these two and the karmic was actually holding that away from your person like i'll marry you if this happens when this happens down the road um, the magician reverse, I mean, your, your, your person just didn't feel like they had what they needed to give this person to get that from them. Uh, they just didn't feel like they had everything that this karmic was asking for, or they didn't feel like they had it in them to wait for this. So I feel like this karmic person was actually keeping your person tied up in an if situation. Like we can have this higher level commitment if. You know, and, and it was like almost a tease. The hanged man here. I mean, this relationship was stagnant for some time. I mean, your person was feeling very tied up in this situation. I mean, they put a lot into it. I feel like they invested in this thing. Um, but I feel like it just ended up making them feel stuck and bound. 
and like literally completely unable to move or do anything about it. This situation caused your person a lot of stress. Well, the Empress card here is really interesting to me because the, the Empress, the woman, has this crown of thorns around her and it's it reminds me of like Jesus' crown of thorns kind of. Um, where I, th I feel like this person um, made themselves out to be a martyr. I feel like this person made themselves out to be a victim. I'm not trying to draw religious parallels here. No. Um, but what I'm saying is this person made themselves look like they were wronged over and over and over again. They were persecuted. That's the word. This person made themselves look like they were persecuted within this relationship when they were, when they were actually doing the persecuting. Then I think they just walked away from your person. Maybe your person walked away from them, but I really get that they walked away from your person. The two of wands here, they, I mean, they, this person had choices. This Empress person, she she had choices between them and other people. Um, with the Page of Wands here, this person was very immature in their passion. They were not a loyal person. Um, I feel like there was a lot of drinking going on here. This, per this particular Ten of Cups always tells me um, party girl energy or party boy energy. Like I'm happiest when I'm in a party, when I'm drinking, when I'm surrounded by people laughing. But this two of wands here makes me feel like this empress actually had a choice between your person and someone else. I think that there was someone else in the mix here. The eight of wands here, I mean, this person is vivacious. This karmic is vivacious. They've got a lot of energy. I don't feel like they they use it for good things, though. Like, um, they don't do housework. This person, this karmic person does not do housework, period. Unless they have to. Okay, wait, there's something else here. There's something else here. There's something about this. Why am I getting this? There's something about this karmic person pretending to do housework, but they're really doing something else. It's like a, there's a pretense here. Why would anyone do that? It's almost like they hire out, hire it out or do something else and make it look like they did it. Why would anyone do that? Just, this is such a weird, trivial thing to be talking about in a reading um, when we're talking about all this heavy stuff. But there, there's something about this karmic person pretending to do housework, but they're literally, they're not. They're not. This person would hate that. But why? <laughs> I don't understand this. Um, Seven of Pentacles. It has something to do with money. Are, are they pretending to be a housekeeper? Who would do that? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, I don't know who this applies to. But Seven of Pentacles, it's like um, they want to look all together, look good, but they're pretending. Knight of Cups. There's also something about keeping the um, your person drinking. Like here, again, the drinking card with the Knight of Cups is like this. Look at the look on this boy's face. He's going to give that girl that drink. There's something about this person keeping your person drinking. Um, and then the Emperor under that. It's, it's a really controlling energy. And again, the housework stuff. The Housewives Tarot, there's a lot of that stuff in here, but I'm usually not so drawn to the cleaning implements. There's something about other people seeing it too. Like this person could be pretending, maybe they're pretending they have a housekeeping business and like people are there, but it's for show. Look at the people looking through the window at all the implements. There's no one using the implements. And, and this is so random. That's only for someone. I don't know who it's for. Such a weird energy. The King of Cups here in the overall... This person is is trying to present themselves as like a loving, um, giving person, but they're really kind of gangster. 
This person really, the, there's a lot of manipulation tactic that goes on with this karmic person. Clarify the death here. Why is the death card here? What's the ending that's causing so much worry for your person? Page of Wands. This karmic person is not sleeping with them anymore. Or they're not sleeping with karmic person. There's no more sex. Um, and there's they're trying to end the toxicity here. And that's what's causing the stress. Ten of Swords. Yeah, heavy, heavy, stressful relationship here. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Yeah. Yeah, your person is trying to walk away from this situation. It's causing a lot of stress. They're trying to end a, a really stressful situation that's been really toxic. They felt really bound to this person. It's not easy, this ending. It's not, an ending is not easy. The sun, though, look, happiness is going to come out of this, though. Your person is going to come out of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the karmic cards out and see what messages we get with the karmic cards. All right. These are messages from the karmic's higher self and some maybe from the divine masculine's higher self or divine feminine's higher self. There are all three cards in there. Okay. I have them in a giant box so I can literally just shake it up. They're too small to shuffle effectively. So that's the way we do it. All right. Let's clear some space here and get some messages. I turn it around so I can't see them. Okay. First message from the karmic. I feed off of admiration even if it is not real. Okay, this one um, is actually from Spirit, these particular cards. Letting them learn on their own is a huge gift. So Spirit is telling you, let your person learn on their own. Don't try and interject here. They need to learn mess they learn need to learn lessons from this current situation. Um, someone here is an alcoholic. That's a kind of a neutral card. Uh, karmic, I get so caught up in wanting the divine masculine that I did crazy things. Karmic, I threaten suicide to keep the divine masculine here. Sorry, karmic. I keep divine masculine stuck with drugs. Those could be prescription or they could be illegal. This is actually from the divine masculine. You triggered me, so I ran. But it showed me how to heal the pain. Thank you. From the karmic. I've threatened to hurt the Divine Feminine if the Divine Masculine leaves me. That could be physically hurt or that could be like um, hurt some way like defaming their character or something like that. Karmic. If I can't have the Divine Masculine, nobody can. Divine Masculine. Now I see how much you always loved me. That's to the Divine Feminine. Karmic. I trade sex for things. We got that in the first option. Karmic. It's all about my next mark. So your karmic considers this Divine Masculine a mark. Um, you know, they're, they're actually bilking them, intentionally taking, taking from them. And they're actually doing this to other people, too. It's not just the Divine Masculine. And they probably have done it their whole life. 
it's just it's a thought a way of living karmic i faked being pregnant to keep the divine masculine we got the same one in the first uh option too Um, from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine, it was hard to believe your love. No one ever loved me without condition before. Let's get just two more. Um, drug problem. We saw drugs here earlier. Someone has a drug problem. Someone has an alcohol problem. Um, from the Divine Masculine, love was just a four-letter word until I found you to the Divine Feminine. All right, let's get a few messages from the Divine Masculine. Let's grab this stack and we'll start there. Is there a message here? Oh my gosh, too many, but I'll take the top one. I fear you will reject me. I feel stuck with my karmic right now. I feel like another stack, sorry. I'm balancing my masculine and feminine energies. That's really good. We all have to do that before we can come into union with ourselves. Union with self is first before union with your partner. You have to balance yourself out. I talked to you in the 5D. Okay. Is there another message here? Is there one more? Can we pick up where we left off? I am so attracted to you. Let's get one more. Is there another message from the Divine Masculine? I was afraid of this connection. All right, those are our message cards. Let's go ahead and get some letter initials and some zodiac. See what we get here. Okay, quite a few here. So we have T, we have C, we have E. We have Y, we have P, we have G, N like Nancy, B like boy, R, O, I'm already seeing Robin, H, Robin or Rob, also seeing the word gypsy, um, Crypt. Uh, is there something about a crypt, like a family crypt or going to a crypt? Where I live, we don't have those, so I don't know. Someone needs to change the cyan ink in their printer. <laughs> Weird confirmation for someone. I'm seeing the name Peyton. I'm seeing the place Nebraska and Connecticut, Ohio. Okay, make with those initials what you will. First name, last name, middle initial could spell something out for you, a location, a person. Let's get Zodiacs. Um, we're going to stick with the top three, sun, moon, rising. I'm going to get three of them for you or your person. Remember, they don't all have to resonate. Um, it's a collective reading, so lots of things for lots of people. It's just to give you that aha moment, okay? Scorpio. 
Taurus and Virgo. So Scorpio, Taurus, and Virgo, you or your person top three, then that's a really nice confirmation for you. Doesn't all have to resonate. All right, we're going to go on to the extended reading. We're going to ask how your person is feeling about the karmic partner, what their intentions are toward the karmic partner, and what their most likely actions um, at this point will be towards a karmic partner. Okay? I will see you in the extended if this resonated and you'd like to see that, or I will see you next time. Take care. Welcome in to those of you who chose the option three in this um, karmic reading. What's going on in the karmic connection between your person and their karmic partner? If you chose the justice card from the Light Seers Tarot, this is going to be your option. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with Tarot and we're going to get a few cards and clarify and look at what the situation is. Then we're going to use my new karmic cards, which are all kinds of messages from the karmic and the divine masculine's higher self. Um, we'll also get a few messages from my divine masculine message cards as well. Then we'll get zodiacs, charms, and um, letter initials. And then there will be an extended available if you would like to purchase it, if you really resonate with the reading. Starting off with the Three of Swords. What's going on in the karmic connection between your person and the karmic partner? Um, feel free to check out more than one option if you were torn between options, okay? If one doesn't resonate, just try another one. That's how you hone your intuition. That's perfectly okay. What's going on between your person and the karmic partner? This is for a love connection. This is not for another type of connection, this specific reading this time. Um, two of coins and the high priestess. Ooh. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Oh, that's very Sid and Nancy. Um, let's use the housewife's tarot to clarify. Clarify the Three of Swords. Let me make sure that's up right. The Three of Swords. Uh, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Coins. Ten of Swords. And clarify the High Priestess, the Fool. Oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck energy here. I'm going to use them all. Four of Wands. And then I'm going to clarify again with the Erotic Tarot. Um, I'll clarify the Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords. Uh, the Magician. Clarify the Two of Coins. Oh, the Chariot. And then clarify the High Priestess. Um, the Eight of Shells. Okay, and the bottom of the deck is the Two of Feathers, the Two of Swords. Shells or Pentacles, just so you know. Um, okay. First thing I want to call out is I do see spell work. So I know that not everyone believes that that's a real thing, but I'm here to tell you it is. I know that it is. Um, whether it works or not is another issue, but there is someone here. The karmic partner has something to do with spell work with the high priestess and the magician in the opposite corners here. There's someone trying to manipulate energy here. Okay. The lovers, the four of wands and the two of swords here. Um, this connection between your person and the karmic partner is definitely a lover's type energy, but look at the masculine's hands around the feminine's throat and the feminine um, chained around the masculine. It's toxic. It's toxic. There's a lot of fighting here. There's a lot of, there was a lot of passion to start, but it turned dark. And we have a karmic person here using spell work to kind of try and manipulate. I don't know if she tried to use like a love potion here or a binding spell or something like that. There's something going on here where she's trying to manipulate 
the energies to her advantage or their advantage. It doesn't have to be a her, right? The three of Swords with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Magician here. The Three of Swords, I mean, this karmic person has stabbed your person over and over. I mean, they have ammunition on them. Your, these knives is ammunition. This is things that the karmic knows about your person that she holds over their head and she threatens. And that, I mean, it's just the threat alone is a stab in the back, much less without putting the knife in. You know, you should never have to threaten your partner. That's insane, right? Um, Six of Pentacles, completely off balance here, completely off balance here. We have a karmic that is incredibly greedy. They want it all and they want it all for themselves. This is the kind of person that would say to your masculine, if I can't have you, no one else can. Literally, that type of personality, really unhealthy. Um, and then the magician here, again, there's this karmic trying to manipulate energy. Um, there's a candle there, maybe doing some candle magic. Um, there's this horned mask here too, which makes me feel like um, uh, devil energy, okay? This person might use sex magic as well. That's just an aside. And sex magic doesn't have to be a bad thing. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. Sex magic, like kundalini manifestation, can be a very healthy thing. But this is dark. This is not that. Um, two of coins here. Like this this karmic, again, we got this two of coins in one of the other options. I'm not remembering if it was one or two, but you might want to check out another option if you were drawn to more than one. But this person is very financially motivated and they're wearing a mask. They don't let anyone see who they really are. This person really is um, using your person for financial gain. And I think that they use sex kind of as a weapon here. And I don't think it's just with your person. I think that that's just how they go about their life. Ten of Swords here. I mean, this has been a really painful connection. It's like the karmic has needled your person over and over and over and over again. It's a lot of pain. With little digs, too, it's not just about, like, um, taking, but it's like belittling um, or nagging or... Um, This person could be have a really sharp tongue. You know, they could say mean things a lot. Um, with the chariot here, I just I just feel like she's trying to keep keep it going. I feel like this karmic is trying to keep it going. The relationship. by whatever means necessary, by a party. It's, it seems like a party environment. Like, I just feel like part of the mask that this person wears is like a party girl type or party boy type energy. And they keep a lot of people surrounded. It's almost like they keep their house full or a lot of parties or a lot of social stuff to distract from the fact that the, re the rest of the relationship sucks. <laughs> It's like, um, it's a distraction technique. The high priestess here, I, I just feel like this person is kind of using dark energy. Um, with the fool here, I mean, they do it without understanding it. Look at this person completely unprepared. This person doesn't understand the dark energy that they're screwing with. The eight of shells here, I'd like to clarify that. Seven of pentacles. And the page of roses. This person is incredibly careless. Again, this is a lot like option one. This person is a party person. They're a pleasure seeker. And they're willing to put a lot of investment. This person will put a lot of time and energy into their manipulations. And I feel like they almost they threaten to walk away if they don't get what they want. It's, it's a lot of manipulative energy here. I mean, it's very painful, but they threaten your person with walking away. It's almost like there's a weird codependency here with this lover's card. 
it's like she threatens to walk away. He's like, no, you're staying. You know, it's a control thing. But the Ten of Cups is here. Look at the cups are completely empty, though. It's like your person thought they would have this, this wonderful, loving, you know, um, long-term, beautiful connection. But the cups are empty. And look at the strength card here with this person with the snake around her. This huge energy that's a very sneaky, deceptive, manipulative energy. I don't like it. Sorry. The Four of Wands here. Like, look, this, this karmic person... This, this maybe ties into option two just a little bit too. I don't know if you were pulled to all of them, but the, this karmic person rests on their laurels a lot. They don't do the work. Look at, she's on this canopy of mops and down here way above the house, just drinking a drink and leaving all the mundane stuff to everyone else. Like this karmic doesn't do any work. And you know, here, I mean, she keeps a lot of stuff hidden. She, all of these things about herself, she doesn't let anyone see. Strength again. It's like this karmic gains strength from the control that she exudes over this masculine. I don't, I feel like she's lazy too, on top of that, like physically lazy. And I'm not talking about she doesn't work out or anything. I'm talking about or doesn't want to do stuff, but. I don't think she wants to do any work, like actual work. I don't think she like contributes to the household or he, they contribute to the household or do the chores or whatever. I don't feel like that happens. The two of swords down here, the tower. Yeah, look at this tower card. I've never noticed this one before. There's these two people in this embrace. But the tower is going to pull them apart like it's fallen apart behind them. This, this love connection is not going to last. Not going to last. So the two of, two of swords here. Um, your person doesn't feel like they can make a choice away from this person right now, even though all this is going on. I, th I just feel like they're incredibly manipulated. The fool here. I don't get the energy of your person taking a leap of faith, but I do see your person staring at the suitcase in the corner thinking about leaving. There is this thought process with the two of swords here. Um, maybe I should leave. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? It's always tease, tease, tease. You're happy when I'm on my knees. Someday it's fine, that's just black. So if you want me off your back. Yeah, there's this energy of, um, should I stay or should I go? Like your person, I think your person wants to leave. I think they're looking at it, but I don't think they've made the decision, even though it's as bad as it is. I feel like they're very manipulated. <sighs> the magician. Again, the magician, the high priestess. This person is really using a lot against your person. They have a lot on your person, too. It could be your person feels stuck because they have so much over their head. Eight of coins, though. This, this karmic puts a lot of energy into keeping your person stuck. Like, a lot. They're dedicated. They also may have a lot of tattoos. But they're dedicated to keeping your person stuck. Three of coins, too. They, you know, they feel like they've built a foundation with your person. It feels like they feel like they own your person. Um, the eight of wands here. They put a lot of energy. They may be like one of those people that's talk, talk, talk all the time. And just keeps your person in their head. Um, the star... Six of Shells, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. Look, when it comes to you, I feel like they, they do view you as some kind of wish fulfillment, but it's a distant wish. It's like you're real to them, but in a very far away feeling. 
Um, I feel like they do watch you. I feel like they they um, want you, your person. But they are so embroiled in this karmic situation, it's nuts. It's nuts. I think they would like to walk away. But this other person puts so much energy into keeping them there. Like, crazy amount of energy. This justice card that you cho chose, I mean, this shows twins. It's like a mirror reflection. That's you and your person. But your person's looking down and you feel very ethereal. You don't even almost feel real. It's like it would be hard to bring justice when they see you as not attainable. They're very embroiled in their karmic situation. They're very much in the middle of it. I mean, they're going to see that this person is fake. They're going to see it. Um, you know, because their dreams are not going to come true with this person. They're going to understand that the plans that they make all fall through. And they're going to stop just fantasizing about you. Um, they're, you know, they look back at memories of you, right? But they have hard boundaries up against you right now. They're not letting you in. And it's probably because this is such a mess. You know, they don't, I don't feel like they don't feel like they can. Let's look at the karmic cards. Let's see what kind of messages we get from the karmic's higher self, from the divine masculine's higher self. Just got to clear this up in order to do that. Your person is very stuck in their thinking right now. They don't feel like they can make a choice toward you. But you wouldn't want them to. I mean, they need to clear this up and understand their own value and understand what this really is before they can give you anything good and, and real and solid. Okay, so these are my karmic cards. Um, there's hundreds of them in this box. It's in a giant box, so I can shake it up because they're very hard to shuffle. Let me just turn it around so I can't see it. And pull. All right, this message is from the karmic I control the divine masculine's communication. So I actually had an intuitive hit the other day about a karmic that um, when they went into relationship with this divine masculine, they decided to have an open password policy. So they always know the divine masculine's password. The divine masculine always knows their password and they actually utilize it and look at the divine masculine's communication, all of their communication. Um, divine masculine, I am finding myself so I can find you. So this divine masculine is working through this. That's really good information. From the divine masculine again, I'm reconnecting with loved ones I left behind. So, um, also this karmic, this karmic, um, kind of forced divine masculine away from friends and family and did that isolationist thing that, um, you know, narcissists tend to do, they like to isolate their prey. So they have them all to themselves. And so they probably even moved the divine masculine away from friends and family or whatever, or just cut off all communication. So divine masculine wants to let you know, he's actually starting to reconnect with people that he loves, you know, despite this, this karmic's protests. Karmic, I gaslight the DM. Yeah. Yeah, that's a narcissistic tendency is gaslighting. Gaslighting, if you don't know what that is, it's doing something or having something happen and then totally making that person believe that you haven't done it or it hasn't happened. It's a terrible thing to do. Um, Divine Masculine, I respect you so much. Divine Masculine truly respects the Divine Feminine. Another Divine Masculine message. I was so afraid you'd see my darkness and I ran. Yeah. Karmic message. When I feel divine masculine leaving, I cause chaos. I got this in another one of the options. If you were con if you were pulled to more than one, check out the other one too. But it's a diversionary tactic. When divine masculine starts to get fed up and starts to leave, they cause some chaos to keep divine masculine too busy to think about leaving. Um, divine masculine, I played you. Then I realized I played myself, Divine Feminine.
Divine Masculine again. Hold on. I will come to you. They are planning to come back. I think they have to clean up their mess first. Divine Masculine, I'm so done with the drama. They don't want this anymore. Another Divine Masculine, I want this life with you, Divine Feminine. Another Divine Masculine, I drown in work so I don't think about you. Karmic, I feed off of the Divine Masculine's energy, an energy vampire. Divine Masculine, you are the dream after the nightmare. They feel like this relationship with the Karmic has been a nightmare. Divine Masculine, again, I've learned all I needed to learn from the Karmic. Okay, so they're getting the lessons. That is really good information. Now they got to figure out how to get out. Karmic, I'm starting to understand this journey. Oh, the Karmic is learning some lessons. That is interesting. Or they're starting to understand the twin flame journey and trying to manipulate it. Hmm. Depends on the situation. Karmic, I only wanted to be happy too. Yeah, that's the truth. No one is all good or bad. You know, this karmic did probably want to be happy and probably did think that life with the Divine Masculine would be happy. They just didn't understand that this was your Divine Masculine and not theirs. Trying to keep someone stuck, you know, putting all this energy to keep someone stuck will never make you happy. Never. Divine Masculine, I want off this dark merry-go-round. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, I feel like we've got enough of those. Let's get a few of the um, messages from the Divine Masculine. My original deck. Ah, I'm jealous. Divine Masculine might be watching and seeing with other people. They might know that the karmic is with other, with other people too. I want to grow old with you. another deck. Let's choose another stack here. I get lost in your eyes. Please work on healing. The more Divine Feminine works on healing, the more Divine Masculine can work on healing. It's a kind of a trigger effect. You are my future. Okay, those are our messages for today in this karmic situation with your Divine Masculine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the extended reading. Oh, wait, let's do, I almost forgot. Let's do Letter Initials and Zodiac. Uh, first, last name, middle name, um, nickname, could spell something out. Okay, we got S like Sam or Steve. We got R like Richard, Ron. We've got I. We've got D. Sid. Remember I said Sid and Nancy when I saw the card. Um, K like Katie. R. Another R. There's two R's, so someone could have two R's in their name, um, like um, Richard Ramos or something like that, or two in the middle, like their name could be. Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, something like that. We've got H, hid, I hid, I hid from the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. There's a W, there's a blank, someone is definitely not ready to be called out yet, they're still working on things. There's a U, there's an N, a Y, an E, we've got a lot of initials this time, an O, and I'm seeing Eeyore, does someone like Eeyore? And there's sorry here, there's an abbreviation for sorry, someone is really sorry for how they acted, 
for the situation they got into. There's been a lot of karma playing out here. And two blanks. There's someone that definitely is not ready to talk yet. They're not ready to be identified here. They're just, someone's got a lot of work to do on this situation to get out of it. They want off, off this dark merry-go-round, right? Off this dark merry-go-round. Um... W U U Dub University of Washington maybe I see I'm um, Carrie here the R R E I'm seeing someone might have a name with like R R E in it R E R R Okay, make of those initials what you will. Let's get some zodiac signs. We're going to concentrate on your top three. So the big three, sun, moon, rising. For you or your person. Okay. And remember, not everything has to resonate. This is a collective reading. So a lot of people watching. It's just to give you something that makes it click into place for you. So Virgo. Leo and Sagittarius. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we'll go into the extended. Please hit the like on the video if you enjoyed it. Um, if you're going to the extended, I'll see you there. If not, thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time.